Uh, what made you decide to choose to do running? Uh, first and foremost, my sister, uh, Nicole Scott. She's 10 years older than I am. She uh, competed for Woodbridge, went on to compete collegially uh, for Long Beach State. So she's the main catalyst, the driver behind why I decided to run cross country at Woodbridge. However, yeah. I always had a pretty, um, a pretty um, sports filled childhood. You know? Yeah. Playing club soccer, basketball, uh, hockey, what have you. You know, the miscellany of sports. I was always that one fast guy, the fast dude. Uh, so that kind of um, encouraged me to do cross country and track. Then, as well as the Irvine Junior Games. You remember that? Yeah, I remember yeah, those. In uh, elementary school, middle school. Well, I was always the guy that ran like the 400, 800, or 1500, the longer distances. Um, that were offered within the Irvine Junior Games, so the miscellany of, of of the of the mixes. Uh, d uh during your high school career, like, uh, what core did you do? All the core exercises. Yeah, most definitely. Whatever was asked of me by the coaches, for the most part, I, I abided to. And also, when you're in high school, you know, post pubescence, when you're still young and trying to figure out your life. You tend to listen to your coaches more often. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah, I mean, they have the experience and the knowledge of what makes a good runner. Um, the the discipline of uh, activities and, and dietary regimens. So, yeah, I I did all of the uh, requirements that they offered because, you know, their scores older than I am and they have a lot more experience in running. So I figured, yeah, listen to what they have to say. Uh, what was your best mile time in high school, though? I mean, 1600. Oh, goodness. Uh, 430-something. No, it wasn't, it wasn't as fast as I would have liked it. I think I wanted to get, like, sub 420. Um, because track was always weird to me. I always loved cross-country more. Something about track and field and running around a track multiple times. Yeah. You're so draining and nauseating i was always more of a cross-country guy but uh specifically to your question i think it was around 4 30. Yeah. To, to me though uh I'm, I'm not that good at cross-country my pr is 1540 though nice uh and my uh my 16s 433 okay but like i, I run a 433 as a sophomore and mm. but like i don't know for cross-country i've never been able to like get as crack really fast times in cross country like what, what do you think could help me for your mile time for cross country for though cross country yeah you know what I'm saying uh, running is 90% mental and 10% physical you know it's a head game it's you against yourself you yeah. against your own ego the, the it what have you and I feel like if you're running, remove all the externalities of your life and just focus on running and being there right then and there. You know, being here now, you kind of lose yourself and just run in the moment. Uh, if you can really lose yourself and just run just for the sake of running, you'll be a faster runner. You know, you remove all of the externalities of pain, of catching up. When you're just running and your mind's blank, I feel like that's when you do your best times. Um, like time's irrelevant. You're focusing so hard. Yeah, yeah, and and that's where you tend to run, and in, in, in my own understanding, faster PRs. Um, so you start, and then before you know it, the race ends. Yeah. Uh, also, um, setting, you know, weekly goals for you. That's a big thing too, and making sure that you are on track to you know the break them, whether it be to like dietary regiments or faster repeats you know taking yeah. each week by week to improve your PRs so like setting you know weekly or bi-weekly goals in the end make you a faster runner over that season's time saying discipline but it's also, it, it, it's also kind of hard because you know you're in high school like what well, you, yeah. you, you're, you're not dedicated solely to run in high school no you still have, to have like a fun social life so don't let running be like the main drive of your high school experience. 
it's supposed to be fun, so treat it as as a fun sport with your friends. You know, if you don't take yeah. a PR, then oh well. All right. Uh, 